Lord sends us those fragile and abandoned brothers and sisters who, like the paralytic in the gospel, come crying out, Lord, I have no one. Those are the words of Father Louis Guanella, an ordained priest from Francisco, Italy, before he died in 1915. This holy man, who is now moving towards canonization and was beatified in 1964, founded the Servants of Charity, an order of priests and brothers who would carry out this mission of watching over the children and youth who are materially and morally abandoned. The elderly who are deprived of all other human support. And finally, persons with developmental disabilities whom their tradition calls good children and who do not have adequate care. Since 1960, the Servants of Charity have lived the mission established by Father Guanella by taking care of the residents of the St. Louis Center, a 180-acre residential facility for mentally and physically challenged boys and girls, men and women, located in Chelsea, Michigan. Longtime St. Louis Center Administrator, Father Joseph Rinaldo, talks about the mission of the center. The true mission is to restore a family to the child, a family that, for whatever reason, is not able to take care of the child. And so, first thing we do is rebuild the family around the child. In 1960, the Archdiocese of Detroit, seeing a need for a residential facility for the mentally and physically challenged, announced plans to open the St. Louis Center in Chelsea, Michigan, about 60 minutes west of Detroit, on a 180-acre piece of farm property. Typical of the neighbors were Jerry and Cindy Hammerschmidt, who not only lived near the facility, but who even worked at the center. We did, we did a lot of painting on, on Saturdays, uh, getting the parents involved, ones that could make it, and ones that would show up in a couple hours, and we had you know, a real good crew. I mean, they didn't have the money to hire people to do it, so let's go ahead and do this. As the number of buildings grew and expansion took place to meet the demand of taking care of God's children, Father Fortunato Torati, who arrived at the center in the early years, talks about the philosophy of teaching that is used at the St. Louis Center. All is in their mind and in the heart they wanted to remember that Jesus is there, Jesus loves you. And even if you suffer now, even if you go through the difficult times now, there will be a time when you will be so happy and you know, God will, will uh, welcome you. While the faith-based teaching philosophy remained constant over the years, the strategies in training the residents evolved. We were going through the, the, the changing the situation of the school being outside, mainstreaming them. The importance of priests, nuns, teachers, and lay staff of the St. Louis Center was also a cornerstone in the development of the center over the years. A special education program did not exist until 1974. So beautiful names that came along as Father Fortunato, Father Germano, Father Lewis, Father Umberto, and uh, these were beautiful people, and they worked directly with the children. The advent of women with developmental disabilities to the St. Louis Center brought about more challenges. But as always, the staff at the center were up to the task. Lisa, a longtime resident at the St. Louis Center, talks about her experiences. It's nice. I like everybody here. I like all the staff here. And I just love everybody. Among the many employees who have worked at the center, longtime employee Barb Scheel recalls how the St. Louis Center changed to keep pace with the needs of its residents. Started to take older children. Um, I think when our residents got to be about 18 and they can only stay, you know, we only had a license till 18, they had to leave. And um, a lot of the parents could not find good places to be in their local community. There was a shortage of good group homes. Um, so parents became very involved in starting an adult program. Um, that meant opening the building St. Joe's Hall, um, then eventually um, Our Lady of Providence and Father Gwinnell Hall. The building was totally transformed from the classical facility of the 50s of the 60s 
Uh, all the residents now are uh, larger in uh, smaller living quarters. Uh, we have two residents, residents in each room. Each room is fully equipped with bedroom, shower, sink, and uh, the groups are totally independent from each other. Uh, we no longer have an educational program on the premises for our uh, residents that are between school age and the admission is from zero to 26 attend the public school. Jan and John Chataway tell how the St. Louis Center provided a home and treatment for their son Jordan. The structure uh, and the care that St. Louis Center has given Jordan has allowed our family, I think, to grow together and to be much more positive. Um, Plus Jordan's grown. His father Fortunato, Father Joe, and Father Enzo, and all the priests, nuns, and staff fine-tuned their skills at caring for their challenged residents over the years. The residents have formed their own community of friends, activities, and jobs, and favorite things about the St. Louis Center. While the St. Louis Center operates under a Catholic Christian philosophy, the center does not receive financial support from the Catholic Church. To meet the financial obligations of running this world-class facility for the mentally and physically challenged, the St. Louis Center is guided by the expertise of a community advisory board and through fundraising efforts spearheaded by the Knights of Columbus. The vision and the mission of our founder is caring for all life at all stages, caring for all humans. Uh, that all, they're all equally important to God. Uh, those with special needs are uh, all the more special to us. Five decades of caring for the mentally and physically challenged. So what does the future hold? Geriatric care is something that we need to look forward to in the not too distant future. And another calling has been for transitional housing where we move our residents from this facility into a transitional home where they can learn how to take care of themselves and eventually into group home settings. For 50 years, the St. Louis Center has accepted from the Lord Jesus Christ those fragile and abandoned brothers and sisters who, like the paralytic in the gospel, come crying out, Lord, I have no one. <laughs>